Hi and welcome to the Data VR News Flash for week 8 of 2017. My name is Sebastian and this channel is called Daydream District, bringing you the latest and greatest about Daydream VR. So if this is your first time here and you would like to stay up to date about anything Daydream VR, consider to subscribe. The tech news of this week are of course made at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Unfortunately, the event though turns out to be rather disappointing for Google Daydream VR. There are no announcements of new Daydream ready phones and the flagship devices of LG, Huawei and Sony turn out to be all not Daydream ready. The LG G6, Huawei P10 and Sony Xperia XZ Premium all feature LCD screens instead of the OLED screens that are needed to get the Daydream Ready certification. This is especially sad for the Sony Xperia XZ Premium, which will boast a 4K display and the latest Snapdragon 835 chipset that it would have no problems whatsoever of rendering the VR images. And wouldn't it be sweet to run mobile VR on a 4K display? This will likely only happen with hacks and workarounds, however, this is definitely a setback for quick daydream mass adoption. Now the only slightly daydream related news that is coming out of Mobile World Congress is that Gear VR, Daydream VR's biggest competitor, is closing the gap to Daydream VR by coming out with their own motion controller. The new Gear VR motion controller works just like the Daydream one. It also allows for 3 degrees of freedom, which means you can point in all directions, but the controller's position itself is also not tracked in space. The new Gear VR motion controller offers one more button than the Daydream controller though, the trigger button that should come in handy for gamers. The new Gear VR will likely come out with the Galaxy S8, it is still unsure if this year's flagship device will support both Gear VR and Daydream or only Gear VR though. So while it was a disappointing week on the hardware side, we have some great news on the software side. The biggest launch for Daydream VR last week is without a doubt Altspace VR. Altspace VR allows you to meet people from around the world in VR. In Altspace VR you can play games with your friends, spend time together drawing or sculpting VR works of art or start any of now up to 30 activities within the virtual world of Altspace VR. Moreover, you can attend live events with comedians, DJs, authors, celebrities and more. Allspace VR is available for Daydream VR now and completely free of charge. Bandit 6 Salvo is the second installation of the Bandit 6 series on Daydream VR. As opposed to the original Bandit 6, which came out last week, in Bandit 6 Salvo you battle it out on the ground instead of in the air. Use different weapons like machine guns, mortars and artillery to defend your territory within a World War II setting. You can play three levels for free to find out if you would like to purchase the full version of the title. Great news also for those of you who would like to watch local videos on your Daydream VR or stream videos from your PC to your Daydream VR. With Moon VR and Skybox, we now have two apps at our disposal that do exactly that. Moon VR will allow you to play your local videos as well as videos that are stored on your computer. The app supports all current VR modes and has baked in support for a huge variety of video formats. Competitor Skybox offers all the same but with a way more polished user experience. The app puts you into a lavish home setup to choose your videos from, also supports local and remote playback and it will automatically find your VR videos. When watching 2D movies, you will do so in a VR cinema that so far is the best video watching experience that I personally have experienced on Daydream VR. And at the end of this news flash, I would also like to let you know about the NBA and NFL apps that have arrived on Daydream VR. The NBA app so far is a bit lacking in terms of content. There are two categories to choose from. House of Legends, where the user can watch 3D interviews with legendary NBA players and The Vault that allows users to watch additional NBA content in 360 degrees. So far The Vault only features three videos and in House of Legends you can watch only one single interview. The NFL VR app in contrast is more content rich. First of all you can choose your favorite NFL team and according to that setting all of the app will change its design to reflect which NFL team you are rooting for. In the NFL Immerse section, you will be able to watch 9 360 degree videos about the NFL and in the screening room, 10 must watch plays are waiting for you. 
So if you're a fan of the NFL, make sure to check out the NFL VR app. And that's it already for this week's Daydream VR News Flash. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Do have a look at our Patreon website if you would like to support the channel. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to Daydream District yet, do so now. Keep on daydreaming and see you in the next video.